Hello everyone, welcome back to LNL Awakening. Today we have a couple little games for you. We're going to explore and start to heighten our intuition using these games. So let's dive in. All you're going to need for this first exercise is a coin, like a quarter, or if you're in Canada like I am, you could use a loony, uh, which is also about the same size as a quarter. Basically any coin that feels natural for you to flip in your hand. So we're going to harness the power of intuition to predict whether the next coin flip is going to land heads or tails. It's just a fun way to connect with our inner instincts and see just how in tune you are with your gut feelings. Before we start, let me walk us through the process. First, flip the coin in the air and then catch it and then place it onto the back of your other hand, but keep it covered. Now for each coin flip, ask yourself to intuitively guess whether it's heads or tails. Trust your initial feelings and let your instincts guide you. After each guess, uncover the coin and see how accurate your intuition is. Ready? Let's begin. All right, your first coin flip. Take a minute. Close your eyes if you need to and feel the coin. Heads or tails, what's your intuition telling you? Let's see if your intuition was on point. Go ahead and view the coin. How did you do? Remember, this is all about the journey and learning to trust yourself. Take a moment to reflect on your first guess. Was it a gut feeling, a hunch, or just a random choice? Trusting your intuition is about being in tune with yourself and acknowledging those inner signals. What happens though if we can't dis distinguish the signals? Now we're going to repeat the process, but with one change. This time, before you flip the coin, sit with yourself for a few moments and ask yourself, please show me a yes. Sit with it for a while until you feel that you understand what you're being shown. This could be a feeling, a smell, a word, a sound, even a taste. Again, if you have asked yourself the question, but you don't feel like you've gotten an answer, don't be upset. We can try giving it a bit more time, or you can change the game to suit you better. Or you can take a feeling you think you may have gotten and say, okay, I'm going to use that as my yes for now. Walking away and coming back at a different time is also an option. Remember, this is meant to be fun. There is no right or wrong. There is no winner or loser. This is fun and a way to begin to trust. We don't want to end up turning this into another reason not to trust our gut. Okay? Then continue to flip the coin, cover and guess. Rinse and repeat. Feel the rhythm of the exercise and let your intuition guide you. Take a count of how many you get right and how many you get wrong so that you can try and beat your score next time. Feel free to add your own twist to the challenge. Perhaps, perhaps experiment with different coins or create additional rules. The key is to have fun and embrace your intuition. Okay, so this is the end of the coin flip game. Whether you got most of the guesses right or stumbled a bit, the important thing is that you engaged with your intuition and that you hopefully trust it or at least went through the paces of trusting it. The more we do that, the more our own intuition wants to give us more information. Learn to trust your instincts. It's a process and this game is just the beginning. I encourage you to incorporate intuition into other aspects of your life and see the positive impact it can have. On to our next game. So all you need for this exercise is a regular deck of playing cards. We're going to harness the power of intuition to predict whether the next card is red or black. Before we start, let me walk you through the process. Shuffle the deck, and for each card, ask yourself to intuitively guess whether it's red or black. Trust your initial feelings, and let your instincts guide you. 
After each guess, flip the card over to see how accurate your intuition is. Ready? Let's begin. All right, your first card. Take a moment, close your eyes if you need to, and feel the color. Red or black, what's your intuition telling you? Let's see if your intuition was on point. Go ahead and turn the card over. How did you do? Remember, this is all about the journey and learning to trust yourself. Take a moment to reflect on your first guess. Just like in the coin flip game, was it a gut feeling, a hunch, or just a random choice? Trusting your intuition is about being in tune with yourself and acknowledging those inner signals. Now we're going to repeat the process, but with one change, just like in the coin flip game. This time, before you select the card, sit with yourself for a moment and ask yourself, please show me a yes. Sit with it for a while until you feel that you understand what you're being shown. Again, this could be a feeling, a smell, a word, a sound, even a taste. And it could be different from the coin flip game. Again, if you have asked yourself and you don't get anything, don't be upset. Instead say, okay, I didn't understand or get anything. I'm just going to continue as before for now. Then continue with the next card. Shuffle, guess, and flip. Rinse and repeat. Feel the rhythm of the exercise and let your intuition guide you through the deck. As we go through this exercise, I want to share a personal experience. I found that the more I trusted my instincts, the more accurate my guesses became. It's fascinating how our intuition can sharpen with practice. Feel free to experiment with variations. You can set your own rules or introduce additional elements. Perhaps try guessing the suit or even the specific card. The key is to have fun and embrace the intuitive journey. Congratulations on completing the exercise. Again, it doesn't matter how well you did. There are so many facets to intuition that it's hard to narrow it down in a simple game. The things to walk away with are that you spent time with yourself, giving yourself attention, making that attention positive, learning how your own psychic gifts may present and hopefully having some fun. The more you give it a try, the more you trust, the better your intuition will get. I'll let you in on a little secret too. You don't have to get the answer right to have correctly listened to your intuition. Yes, you heard that correctly. Sometimes when you listen and trust and repeat what your intuition is telling you, the answer is actually wrong. Now, why would that be, do you think? Go ahead and write your answer down in the comments. If you've played around with this and want something more challenging, consider moving to Oracle cards and start with readings for yourself. That's all for today. I hope you find these games fun and helpful. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.